Hello, Susan Mumford here, and welcome to the seventh in a 10-part video series called Making It as an Artist in the 21st Century. This video series is being done in the lead up to a course with the same name, being led by yours truly. Be sure after watching this video to click the link on this very page to check out full course details. Last week we looked at the topic of exhibiting, and this week we're looking at how to engage your growing audience as you have indeed met people at that show. So what you need to do when you have a database of people, which is fundamental to making a living in the art world, is you have to come up with ways of effectively engaging people so that you are in front of mind. That means that whenever those people have opportunities, maybe they're looking for a work of art, they're wanting to commission somebody, or they're even looking for artists to say exhibit in a show that you come to mind. This brings to mind the story of an artist that I mentored many, many moons ago, and she was planning the perfect exhibition. She had all of these gorgeous works of art lined up. She had the curation plan all set, but the piece that she didn't have was communication. So how was anybody in the world actually going to know about attending her beautiful exhibition? Well, they wouldn't have. So what I want to do is to give you three core tips today on how exactly you can engage your growing audience and being mindful. So we'll start with point number one, and that is so socially committing to regular email update. In other words, you're telling your audience exactly how often you're gonna be sending this email update, whether that's quarterly, which by the way should be the absolute minimum, monthly, every two weeks, weekly, you name it. I see most artists doing something like one update per month. So what happens is once you've told people how often you're going to be updating them, is you actually stick to it. And when I'm talking about an update, what I do not mean is sending an overtly promotional email. Those are different emails. Those are your save the date emails. Those are the X number of days or X number of weeks to go until the show, which really clearly placed in the subject line. What I'm talking about today is socially committing to a regular email update that is content worthy. Now as an artist, you have plenty to share. Think about poor bookkeepers. What on earth can they share in terms of visual content? Perhaps an image of a spreadsheet? What you have an, as an artist is plenty to share. Point two is that in addition to an email update, to use at least one social media platform well. Quick little pro tip is to be sure that you're using email engagement and also social media as some people who are in your database will be using one but not the other. And for that matter, they may use both but not always notice both. So I've got two points within this point. Point A is this, to bear in mind that social media is a form of social networking. And what that means is not only posting but to be sure to engage with people in that community. How exactly do you go about engaging? Well, you can like posts, comment upon them, even repost them. Better yet, that kind of engagement is the kind of thing that also gets you noticed and gets you more followers. Now point B is this, that you're posting throughout the year, not only in the lead up to exhibitions. What that means is you're thinking about how often you're posting and I would suggest an absolute minimum twice a week on this platform of choice, if not more. So those are two points in terms of thinking about how to use a social media platform effectively. Now the third point for engaging an audience is sharing your achievements across platforms. This is a terrific way of having some content. And while I'm not suggesting that you boast, what I am saying is that you communicate. If you win an award or if you have an article featuring your work, make certain your following knows about it. This shows that others believe in you and it gets people to realize that because others are endorsing your work, that in fact confirms they're an interest in you as well. That results in them getting in touch with you to offer opportunities, to buy pieces, you name it. Sound good? Learn more about using email marketing effectively to build your career in the forthcoming course, Making It as an Artist in the 21st Century. You can click the link on this very page to freely register your place. As for next week in this video tip series, we'll be addressing the selling of art. Stay tuned with Be Smart About Art via our email list, social media at Be Smart About Art, and our YouTube channel. Art is your life, make it your living.